Okay, the next thing, uh, I didn't anticipate on doing this originally, but I did get the, uh, some universal black caps that go on the, uh, axle here. What this allows is for no entry, you're going to have grease in there. Grease it from the back side, it greases, it lubes the hub on this type. And if the grease gets full of gravel or anything, so we'll just put those on. These, these come cheap, I bought like a 10 pack for cheap, so we'll put those on. Back tire already has one there. That already has one. And we'll put one here too. They come with the little washers. These already had the washers, but just uh, the caps were gone. You need a certain size washer to fill the groove inside there. It comes with that. Okay, that makes it look a little more complete. And then the next thing I'm going to do is work on this front grill assembly from the accident that it had. Um, we've got several issues. Everything's out of whack here. This isn't even clipped in. There's dirt inside the headlight on both sides of the hood. There's That's either cracked or I don't know if it's supposed to just go inside or if that's a crack. Um, same thing with this side. I don't know if that's, if that's actually just snapped or what, so I'm going to have to look it over. All right, let's see if I can get this off. I imagine this thing just unsnaps fairly readily. Hey, I don't think it's even broken. All right, so I'm just gonna clean up the inside here. All this has been unsnapped from the headlight. I've got more work here. All right, let's see if I can get that headlight back where it's supposed to go in the grill. And then I'm going to try to get the grill inside the hood. It looks like this is a little bent right here. Let's see if this will come back. Oh, yeah, that popped right back in. So then I'm just going to strike the grill just a hair here. It's not quite right. closer. That whole assembly is not quite right in there. So we're... Wait, can I get it to back up? Yeah. So I'm inside the hood now. And I can see a clip that's been pushed all the way back and out of its hole. So I'm going to try to get that clip to go back in the hole somehow and then rebend it. Alright, it'll go in the hole. I've just got to take that clip and bend it out so it grabs those headlights again like it should. Okay, back on the outside, I got the clip to stick through the metal or plastic like it's supposed to. The hood is actually metal. Uh, I can't get you to unzoom with that stuff. Okay. That's going to have to be close enough. I'm just going to clean up the headlight reflectors. Not that they're really going to be that bright, but uh, clean up the inside of the plastic. Try to put that back up. Alright, let's see if we can get this thing to clip back in. It looks like these clips go through both. The rest of them just go straight back. Yeah. There. That looks a little more respectable overall. Now I'm going to see what's going on with the bottom side there. That bottom uh, corners on both sides are either sprung or cracked off. I took the hood off just because it's going to be easier to work on when it's off. And I found out that this bracket is actually bent, the metal part this is supposed to be matching that diameter out there and the mount for this if you can see in the sunlight today oh, there we go it's cracked completely off 
and the one on the other side, it looks like somebody's already tried the glue, is also cracked completely off. So basically, this part is supposed to be all the way over there. If this metal went on a right angle and came out instead of went straight back. So it looks like I can just bend the metal, get this hood to flare wider like it's supposed to on both sides, and then we'll see about uh, maybe putting some kind of, uh, it seems like it likes to stay right where it should be, um, maybe put some kind of glue there, but I don't know that it's really needed because it seems to be holding just fine. Um, except for, you know, if, if these were if these were bent at a right angle way over here, instead of starting to bend there, it would start to bend there like it's supposed to. So I'll just try to do some rebend and see how close we can get it. Okay, got the hood uh, bent back. Now you can see these are much straighter of a line. I just kind of bent them back that way. Um, these have kind of aligned with the sides pretty close. Good enough for this, it's not a car. Um, but the real part that was really sprung was here. These clips were way back there. So once I got that, these clips came around and grabbed that and hold it in place. So the whole thing is more stable now. So I'll, I'll just remount it and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so the headlights are all snapped back in the best I can get them. And uh, I'll show you the alignment now. That side looks way better. This side, eh, a little springy, but it's a lawn tractor, come on. But what's really nice is now the top lid even closes how it should, um, which it didn't before. So by lining everything up back how it was before they wrecked it, um, everything seems to go back into place. So now what we got here is pretty much as everything's ready, I just got to find some tires to replace both of the bald ones on the front.